I've seen this in hundreds of my clients where I actually give them mineral sea salt in the morning and their migraine headaches go away. I'm not saying every migraine headache is related to sodium deficiency, but when you think about it, if you have a headache, okay, where is that coming from? It's not coming from your brain. There are no pain receptors in the brain. The brain is not capable of transmitting a pain signal. So when you actually have a headache, it's not coming from behind your eye or from the, the brain's temporal or occipital or frontal lobes. It's not coming from the brain. Where is it coming from? It's coming from the covering of the brain. It's called the dura. The dura hates two things. It hates being stretched and it hates being contracted. What determines whether or not it's stretching or contracting? Sodium gradient. Mm -hmm. We have been taught to fear sodium. We've been told sodium is very dehydrating. Nothing could be further from the truth, okay? Not an iodized table salt. I'm not talking about that junk. I'm talking about a good mineral salt, like a Baja gold salt. And why, why is that? Well, just think about it this way. If you, were, if you were so dehydrated right this moment that you landed in the emergency room, the very first thing they would give you is a saline IV. Why would they give you saline if it's dehydrating? Well, because it's, it's not. <laughs> um, if you had life-threateningly high blood pressure and you called 911, when the paramedics arrived to your house, they would start a bag of IV fluids and they would squeeze saline fluid into your bloodstream to lower your blood pressure. So um, the fear of salt, in, in my opinion, is, is, is misguided. And this will tell you where your sodium is so you don't have to guess. Your sodiums get low, adding a mineral salt, is excellent. You can also see your magnesium levels, your potassium levels here. Those are super easy things to supplement with. Um,